I'm with Philippe Quint, violinist. He just played an amazing performance with the Louisiana Philharmonic playing Stravinsky's Violin Concerto. We're backstage now in the dressing room. He says this is about the size of his first New York apartment after he got to move out of his grandparents' house, a new immigrant to America. Can you tell us about those days? You're a world traveling touring artist now. Sure, actually uh, the room here right now is slightly bigger than my apartment. My apartment normally was equated to the size of the elevator in that same building in New York, but it was my very first apartment, uh, my first day of independence. I remember that um, I won a big prize in Spain. It was $13,000 and I really thought that I was the wealthiest uh, man and I rented my own apartment and I remember that I even got a Murphy bed, but the Murphy bed did not fit. <laughs> <laughs> when it folded out, it actually was uh, kind of at an angle of you know neck uh, of the of the other wall. So um, yeah, but uh, before that price, uh, things were not so smooth. Uh, I uh, I arrived to New York um, with my grandparents in 1991, and um, you know, like one of uh, many. Uh, immigrants uh, didn't have a penny in my pocket. Uh, I think my uncle gave me ten dollars that lasted me a month and I was just doing anything to uh, make a living and uh, survive. So sometimes it meant uh, playing on the subway, sometimes it meant uh, doing uh, weddings or parties and uh, just have people pass by and throw money and uh, uh, it was an interesting journey of uh, how I got on uh, concert stages. I guess perseverance uh, and uh, determination. Um, and, you know, never give up, never surrender. So, um, yeah. So what was the best piece that you played if you really wanted some money in your tip jar in the subway? <laughs> Could you play it for us now? Maybe um, just a, a brief sample of it? It was probably Eine Kleine Nacht, one of the most famous pieces in the gig repertoire. Mm. And so on. <laughs> I would not play it on the Bourbon Street. What would you play on Bourbon Street? That's a, that's a great question. On Bourbon Street, I would probably play something like... Uh... <laughs> You've got a job. <laughs>